Some of the symptoms I had um, was fatigue, extreme fatigue, uh, lack of desire in many areas of my life. I'd say my primary symptom was just tiredness and almost a depressive state where, you know, it's, it's like I should get up and go for a walk, but I just don't have the energy to get up and go for a walk. I don't, I don't really want to. My family would notice that there's definitely mood swings a lot more common and I was more tired, but then when it came time to go to bed, I couldn't sleep. And I would hit a wall at about two or three o'clock in the day and just feel like I couldn't get through my day without a huge cup of coffee. Stress has always been a big issue for me, owning a company and balancing the other areas of my life. I started having hot flashes in the middle of the night. My energy level was really low, and right around three o'clock, I needed a nap really bad. Sex drive was low as well. I would have to take at least an hour nap every afternoon. It would be impossible to wake up every morning, and that's when I turned to the hormone replacement pellets. I couldn't exercise. When you're very heavy and you've been, and you haven't been physical, and you're not young, you know, those things don't come easily. I had a physician that I was using testosterone injections with, um, and the roller coaster of going up and down it was unbearable. In July, I got a hysterectomy, and so it was time to make a choice on how I was going to do hormone replacement. I had a consultation with Terry. She explained um, the whole process to me um, that they would take blood work and um, how the pellets work, what they, you know, what's in the pellet. They really taught me how these blood ranges were computed and how being optimal would be such a benefit to me and my health. I felt ultimately confident with using them um, for the fact that the office staff is friendly. The staff has been wonderful. They all um, are actually on the pellet, the ones that have um, treated me, and so they know exactly what I'm going through. I have great confidence in the fact that they're going to um, take a personal interest in the fact that I'm comfortable. They also um, just are very warm in how they approach any questions that I have. First thing they did was call my lab and order blood work. And doing that showed me why I was feeling the way I was feeling and helped me with which things they could help me with and how we could bring this blood work into a more optimal range. I didn't know that testosterone was so important in a woman. I thought it was all for men. That explained a lot of my symptoms, including a, a low sex drive. The fact that they educated me really helped me and really made me more aware and able to take control of my own health. They um, make me feel very appreciative of the fact that they are fully invested in the best possible care for me. It's a quick and painless procedure. It happens in a matter of minutes and, and then you go home. With the synthetics in the injections, you can't dose yourself correctly and you have so many highs and lows. And with the pellet therapy, you go in one time, the incisions made, the pellets are put in, and you have a six months dose. So now that I'm on the pellet, I definitely have the energy I need for the second half of my day. Making dinner is not a nightmare to the same degree where I felt like I just wanted to go get some fast food every time. Once I got the pellets, I don't need that three o'clock nap anymore. I could just keep going. I have nice steady energy and um, no hot sweats. And I sleep like a baby. The pellet therapy was able to help me push through Last fall, I went to college full-time, ran my business and played college football, and I was pulling 120-hour weeks, and the only way humanly possible that I could have done that was with hormone replacement pellets. I remember the first day I went to the Katy Trail and I walked a mile. Literally, I was so proud of myself. I was probably six months after the pellets by the time I could even do that. On a more personal side, I would say it's definitely something where intimacy has improved because I find myself being more driven and also um, having energy for that side of life too, not just out and about, but also at home. I have the energy to do that. You know, like if I'm 20 or 30, I can, I can still do it. I'm in my 50s. With stress, you handle stress differently as well. It gives me a different sense of being able to handle um, my emotions while I'm going through the stress instead of feeling like the emotions are taking off with me. It's definitely life-changing to start looking forward to things and say, oh goody, we're going out to dinner with our friends Saturday night. I'm so glad I don't have to wake up a big mess from hot flashes in the middle of the night and I can sleep all through the evening. It was highly obvious to me that I, I needed this change. When I come to Avexus, they, it's just about me. How are you doing? How are you feeling? I mean, they even take care of my thyroid. You feel better, and in feeling better, then you're more willing to look at other areas of your health. 
For me, I was on a number of medications. Today, I'm on none. It varies, I'm sure, with everybody. Um, so I would say within a week, I'm, I'm feeling back to myself, if not even, sometimes even sooner. If I had to be without this pellet, I think that um, it would be pretty miserable. And I don't think that I would nearly invest in any of the things that I enjoy hobby-wise. When I don't have the pellets, I'm just kind of dragging, right? Just kind of, uh, where's the next nap time? Where's the next sofa? And when I have the pellets, it's like, I'm ready to go. Let's just get up and go, start my day, go, go, go. I suggest hormone replacement therapy to everybody. I've sent all three of my children and my ex-wife in to have their blood work done. I've sent my father in, who's 84 years old. I've sent many friends in and they say it's changed their life. I've got to tell you, the first thing I tell my friends is, if you really aren't feeling your best, if you remember when you felt good and you don't feel that way anymore, then go get your blood work done. Give it a chance because it might be the right thing for you. It might be for you what it was for me and it changed my life. To people who are curious about this, all it takes is some blood work and then you can see where your levels are and without knowing that, you're not gonna get any information that you need to know if this could work for you. I couldn't see my life without it.